Hello everyone. Welcome to this series on famous villains in the plays of William Shakespeare. And in this video, we are going to discuss the character of Angelo from his play Measure for Measure. Introduction. Angelo, the deputy in William Shakespeare's Measure for Measure, is a complex character whose hypocrisy and abuse of power drive much of the play's conflict. His strict enforcement of Vienna's morality laws, combined with his own moral corruption, highlights themes of justice, hypocrisy, and abuse of power drive much of the play's conflict. His strict enforcement of Vienna's morality laws, combined with his own moral corruption, highlights themes of justice, hypocrisy, and the abuse of authority. This video explores the various dimensions of Angelo's character, examining his motivations, his interactions with other characters, and the thematic significance of his actions, supported by relevant quotes from the play. Motivations and Hypocrisy Angelo is initially portrayed as a strict, morally upright character chosen by the Duke to restore order in Vienna. However, his apparent virtue masks a deep hypocrisy. He rigorously enforces the city's stringent morality laws, yet he himself comes to the very temptations he condemns in others. In Act 2, Scene 1, Angelo expresses his commitment to the law. We must not make a scarecrow of the law, setting it up to fear the birds of prey, and let it keep one shape till custom make it their perch and not their terror. This statement underscores Angelo's initial portrayal as a strict enforcer of the law. However, his later actions reveal a stark contrast between his public persona and his private behavior. Abuse of Power Angelo's abuse of power becomes evident when he propositions Isabella, a novice nun, in exchange for her brother Calodio's life. This act of exploitation highlights his moral corruption and the hypocrisy of his strict enforcement of morality. In Act 2, Scene 4, Angelo propositions Isabella. Who will believe thee, Isabel? My unsoiled name, the astureness of my life, my vouch against you, and my place in the state will so your accusation overweigh that you shall stifle in your own report and smell of calumny. This court exemplifies Angelo's abuse of power as he manipulates Isabella and relies on his position to shield himself from repercussions. Hypocrisy and Moral Corruption Angelo's moral corruption is starkly revealed in his hypocritical behavior. Despite his harsh judgment of others, he fails to uphold the same standards in his own conduct. His pursuit of Isabella and his subsequent actions expose the depth of his hypocrisy. In Act 2, Scene 2, Angelo hypocritically condemns Claudio for the same crime he later seeks to commit. Condemn the fault and not the actor of it. Why? Every fault's condemned ere it be done. Mine were the very cipher of a function, to find the false whose fine stands in record, and let go by the actor. This speech highlights the irony of Angelo's position as he condemns others while being guilty of similar transgressions. Interaction with Isabella Angelo's interactions with Isabella are central to the play's exploration of power and morality. Isabella's pleas for her brother's life and her resistance to Angelo's advances reveal his predatory nature and the ethical dilemmas faced by those subjected to his authority. In Act 2, Scene 4, Isabella confronts Angelo. Seeming, seeming, I will proclaim thee, Angelo, look for it. Sign me a present pardon for my brother, or with an outstretched throat, I will tell the world aloud what man thou art. Isabella's courage in confronting Angelo 
underscores the play's themes of justice and integrity, contrasting sharply with Angelo's hypocrisy. Thematic significance. Angelo's character embodies themes of justice, hypocrisy, and the abuse of power. His actions highlight the dangers of unchecked authority and the moral complexities of enforcing laws. Through Angelo, Shakespeare critiques the disparity between public virtue and private vice, exploring the consequences of moral corruption in positions of power. In Act 5, Scene 1, the Duke reveals Angelo's true nature, an Angelo for Claudio, death for death. Haste still pays haste, and leisure answers leisure. Like doth quit like, and measure still for measure. This statement encapsulates the play's central theme of justice and retribution, highlighting the moral and ethical reckoning that Angelo faces. Conclusion Angelo in Measure for Measure is a character of profound hypocrisy and moral corruption. His strict enforcement of Vienna's morality laws, coupled with his own unethical behavior, underscores the play's exploration of justice, power, and integrity. Through Angelo, Shakespeare critiques the dangers of hypocrisy and the abuse of authority, presenting a nuanced and compelling portrait of a deeply flawed individual. Angelo's legacy as a character who embodies the complexities of justice and morality continues to resonate, highlighting the timeless relevance of Shakespeare's exploration of human nature. So this was the discussion on the character of Angelo from Shakespeare's play Measure for Measure. We will meet in the next video and discuss some other character. Until then, goodbye and thank you.